Answering MCAT questions in under 60 seconds. A metabolic disorder causes skeletal muscle cells to become resistant to leptin signaling. Which of the following changes is most likely to occur as a direct result of this resistance? So what is leptin? Well, leptin is a hormone uh, produced in adipose tissue primarily, uh, which is the satiety hormone, meaning it, it, it signals uh, that you are in a fed state, that you have enough energy and prevents you from going and seeking food or hopefully does. So leptin actually is going to mobilize energy stores to basically provide your body with energy resources without having to make you eat, okay, and get more energy, right? So it's going to promote things such as fatty acid breakdown and inhibit things such as fatty acid synthesis, right? Because it's trying to release uh, stored energy molecules. So A says, increased activity of acetyl-CoA carboxylase and elevated malonyl-CoA levels, right? Well, if you're resistant to leptin, right, and leptin normally inhibits fatty acid synthesis and promotes uh, lipid breakdown, but you're resistant to leptin, then you should have more fatty acid synthesis, okay? And you have to recognize that acetyl-CoA carboxylase and malonyl-CoA are molecules and enzymes basically that are involved in fatty acid synthesis, right? So if you're resistant to leptin, you should have more fatty acid synthesis, and that sounds correct, okay? So A is probably the right answer. Let's look at the other ones though. Enhanced AMPK activity leading to increased fatty acid oxidation. Well, that would be something that leptin normally does, but if you're resistant to leptin, you should have less of this happening. You should have less fatty acid oxidation. So that's wrong. C, decreased cytosolic citrate levels due to suppressed lipogenesis. Well, again, that's lipid synthesis, right? And that would be something that leptin does normally. But if you're resistant again, you should actually have more lipogenesis, not less. So that's wrong. And then D, reduced formation of long chain triglycerides in adipose tissue. And again, long chain triglycerides are formed in fatty acid synthesis. So you shouldn't have reduced formation because that would be the normal effect of leptin. If you're resistant to it, you should actually have more formation of that. So that's wrong. And so A is the best answer.